Hey there, it's Mark. I'm going to take a look at this expansion scoop. Thanks again to Ravensburger for sending it to me for review. It's a small expansion, just like the expansion flip that I just re reviewed. This is the expansion flip right here. As a matter of fact, I did a special post for my social feeds. If you'd like, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Marble Grooves has its own accounts and is separate from Race Grooves. If you missed it, let me share it with you now. Did you notice how the silver ball got stuck right here? Yeah, that's because I had this too high. It's important that we follow the recommendations and the instructions for the flip. They show that it lifts up and then you want to have it go up to like a position that has three tiles and this clear plate. Well, I had added another uh, tile underneath there and it made it too high. So I made it fail, but it was still great because all the other colored marbles came down and fell into this vintage Matchbox truck. Check it out, Matchbox, super fast. It's called the Sight Dumper. Has a copyright in 1976, so this, this truck's over 40 years old. Now, with Hot Wheels products, the date on the base is the date that the, the tooling was copyrighted. So I'm not, I'm not, this is, uh, Mattel owns Matchbox now. Back then, it was owned by Lesney. You see it say it's Lesney Products, made in England. Now, 1976, I, I don't know when this was actually made. It does look like a, a vintage part to me. And here's the dumper part. So I thought it would be kind of fun to use for the marble and have them fall into here. I had made a social post that I keep the punch outs, the punch outs right here. I keep them and just in case, you never know when you need them. And someone asks, well, people ask why, why would you keep them? And it's like, you never know. Maybe I want to put them in here and then hide, hide my uh, covering that's underneath. But it came in very handy this time because I used it right where the site dumper truck was. And the reason is because it gave me a nice level place to park it. See the hole right here? When I was trying to line it up like this, it was always, it was always crooked. I can't, get, uh, I, I can't get both wheels. Oh, I got it that time. But it was too tricky. So I'm glad I had the punch outs and I just, you can see it, I put it right in place. Something I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna keep the rubber band that came with the flip, it, that kept it in its lock position. That's because this rubber, if uh, after a while it kind of degrades and it can get sticky and I don't want it to stick to any of my parts. On the back, you can find your language. Contents, one scoop, one long plastic track, two mediums and three shorts. That's all it's going to contain. The flip was pre-assembled. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be pre-assembled because it has those marbles. It might be in a separate bag. We might have to pop them into place. Well, one stuck in there and then there's the other one. Let's check out the instructions. They always come with this little information packet. There's all the parts that are supposed to be in here. We do get those three pieces of track. Let's see, attach the arms to the scoop. Pop the scoop into the base. Put in that green thing right there. Number four, I guess, make sure it's snapped into place. And then five, attach the two uh, big marbles. Those are like uh, counterweights counterbalance to make this scoop flip over. The counterweight marbles are a lot bigger than regular Gravitrax marbles. This time these parts are still attached to a sprue. I think it's called a sprue in the modeling world or a tree. I think it's a sprue. When I did the zip line, these parts were already loose. Here's the one from the zip line. And then you just attach the zip line like that. 
It's interesting that they have this in one piece, and then we had to pop it into the base. But the parts, the, we got to put these together. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they did it like that. Uh, I have no idea. It's very strange. Let's go ahead and slide the scoop on. Push it. Where's the other half? Put it together. There's a spot for it to slide into. Or, is that, or do I have the scoop too far over? Hmm, that's interesting. I just noticed that the arms, this one has the flat spot going up, and this side has it going down. So in the, on the, in the middle, I think they're going to hook up like this. I slid one in. You can see how the gap is on the top. So now we're going to fill that gap. There it goes. <coughs> Pop it in place. There's only one way. There's a notch to direct you. And then this part right here slides in. Does it slide in or go under? I think it slides in. Oh! Slides in. That, there you go. If this is supposed to rotate around, uh, it's kind of snug. How's it supposed to flip over? Something is not right. Well, I tried to take it apart to see if I did something wrong, and look at that. It just snapped. Good news, bad news. With uh, Amazon, I keep checking several times a week to see if there's any deals, and this one, it had been open, and I think they resealed it. The only thing is, I didn't know at the time. I looked at it, said, well, it looks all right. The only thing is, there's no marbles. And this was the first one that I opened to check out whenever I got it way back when. And I thought, oh, okay, it just uses regular marbles. But now I know, guess what? I'm missing the heavy counterweight marbles. And now that I look at this, the arms are already put together. So I think this was actually a return. Oh, well, I need one of those arms anyways. Look, the rest of the scoop is already put together too. So this is broken. The base has a broken piece stuck in the base, so I'm going to use the base from that other set and this arm. A quick test right here. And this one's better. It's loose. I wonder if I pushed it too far in on the other side. Let's go ahead and slide it in. Let's see the notch. Uh oh, I got to make sure I do it right. The image, that image right there, it shows. I want the green part that gets slid in. Yeah, I want that right there in the back. Now I'm supposed to put these in right here. And they have notches on the inside. Let me get our scoop. Scoop goes this way. Slide it on. Make sure this goes the opposite. Fills that void. Here we go again. I just I just did it. You've seen it. You've seen I had it. Yep. Yeah. This was supposed to be a quick, short video. Can't, you can't snap like that because how is it going to flip around? I notice that this one, this one has a notch on top. It's kind of hard to see right here. See, right here on my finger right there, there's a notch. The other one does not have that. I'm looking at the scoop. This side's clean, no uh, indentations. But on this side, there's like an inside ridge. Can you see the inside? And as a matter of fact, you can see a notch right there. So I think this is going to go on this side because this will sit right here. And then that's the range of the scoop when it's spinning. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Well, it's snapping into place now. Yes, yeah, that makes sense. Boy, that didn't turn out to be easy. Now we'll slide in this part. There you go, it tucks in. You need to get these two. You need a marble. Need a marble. And what happens if you try to use a, a regular one? Let's see. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, stop, stop, stop. See that line? Now let's turn this around. 
Oh, see, there you go. As soon as I seen that line, I thought, uh oh, we better look. And same thing on this one, lines on the inside. Here you go. Marble comes in. I need a piece of track. Just do a quick, uh, quick test here. Go. This time, let me do it coming at us so we can see it flying right at us. Before I open it up, I thought it was going to be the same height as Flip, but it is, it's definitely higher. Uh, well, I think it's going to be higher. It sure looks taller like that. Let me get my Flip, bring it over here, and then the Flip. Let's go ahead and flip it around. Yeah, definitely a difference. So if you want to go up a level, only this high, then you can use Flip. If you want to go up a level, you need the scoop. You can see how it's higher. Another thing is that, what was the other thing that I was going to say? Oh yeah, you can't interchange them. You can't decide, well, I want to use this and put this over here. No, because flip works with the marble coming in this way, and then it sends the marble back that way. Now, if you were to put scoop there and have it to where the marble comes in. How does it go? There you go. Let's lock it into place. Same thing. Let's have it to where the marble comes in. Yeah, it's different. It sends it on its way. It keeps going that way, whereas flip flips it back. Let's try to fill the dump truck again with the flip. And I have that one piece, which remember, that kind of makes it too tall. worked okay but really that part is it's not supposed to be that high according to the instructions let me take out the tile and see if it goes faster around the curve I reset the magnetic cannon and I put the zip line back into place this time I'm watching to see how fast the flip flips the marble up over the curve well it helps if you reset it I reset everything but that Everything has been reset. Now let's do the flip. Okay, that is reset. Here we go. It seems to be smoother. Now I'm going to swap out the flip and replace it with the scoop. I have a switch right there, so now the marble is going to come this way and fill up the scoop. Ta da! But remember, this is taller, so we can actually have this higher. Mm, I don't know if it'll be two. Well, I don't want to do two. We don't need to do two, but we can do one. Everything is reset, including the scoop. Let me get a marble. And go. Ta-da! Wait, I got room for more marbles. Fail! Thanks again to Ravensburger for providing this for review. Subscribe so that Marble Grooves shows up in your subscription feed. Happy building. Bye bye.